Okay, in this short video, I'm just going to show you how to use Visual Studio Code to create and preview uh, a website. So the first thing we need to do is we need to load Visual Studio Code. So you should be able to find it on the desktop. Um, but if you can't see it, if you just go down to search and type code, it will be one of the main things that comes up. So there it is, Visual Studio Code. So just launch that. You can make it full screen. Um, and then what we need to do is we need to create uh, a new project. And the way that Visual Studio Code works is it bases itself around a folder. So if we go up to File and we say New um, Open Folder, then what will happen, it should navigate. And if we make sure we're on our OneDrive, okay, and then we need to create a folder. So I'm on my OneDrive now. So I'm probably going to create a folder called computer science because I want to organize things carefully. Then I'm going to go into that folder and I'm going to create a folder for my website. So I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it website. Obviously, if you've got a better name for your website, call it that. So I've created that folder and then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just select that folder. Okay. So Visual Studio Code's opened up and you can see here it's got a folder. There isn't anything in it. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a starting page, a home page from website. So you can see these various icons. If you just move your mouse over, um, they'll tell you what their function is. You can create a folder here um, or we can create a new file. So let's create a new file. Um, we're going to call this home.html. As soon as I do the HTML bit, Visual Studio Code goes into HTML editing mode. So it knows I'm doing a web page. Um, so let's just put a really basic web page together so I can show you how to show it in your browser and edit it and what have you. Right, so to start, everything's in tags in HTML. It's the markup language. So if I open a less than sign, which is the start of a tag, the first thing I need to put is a doc type. And you can see that Visual Studio Code said, well, let's put a doc type. So we're going to press enter and get it to type that in. You can um, change the size of the um, font and everything. Um, if you want to, you can do that in the settings. There's probably other ways of doing that, but I'm not going to show that here. So it's made that and it, what it's also done is made like little markers to show where the opening tag and the closing of the tag is. Right, so that's the first thing that tells the browser that we've got a HTML document. So if we press enter, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do another tag. So we do the less than and it's going to be a marker for the whole of the web page document. So that's HTML. So you can see that it's helping us when the little picker comes up. If you just press enter, it'll finish typing it for you. Right, we're going to close that tag off. So we're going to do a greater than sign and automatically Visual Studio code as put the closing tag in for us and put the cursor in the right place so we can just press enter and we're ready to put our next thing which is a head tag so we're going to add a head tag so again it's given me a choice of things that start with he and i want head so i'm going to press enter then i'm going to close my tag off and it's made the closing tag for me so i'm going to press enter again so i move on to a new line and i'm going to put a title tag so I'm going to start typing title and you'll see get two choice, but I'm going to use the cursor keys to just flip between the ones I want. I'm going to pick title. So I've settled it on title and I'm going to press enter. I'm going to close my tag off <clears throat> and it makes the closing tag for me. And then I'm, this is the thing that's displayed at the top of the browser window. So I'm going to say welcome to my website. Okay. So that finishes off the head section for now. I'm now going to do a body section, which is where I put my content in my web page. So I'm going to go below head and I'm going to type body. And you can see things with B-O in them have come up. But I want body, so I'm going to press enter. Then I'm going to do my greater than sign. And then I'm going to put my content in. So you're going to you'll learn about all this and you'll experiment with all this. But I'm just going to do a basic heading and then a paragraph. So I'm going to do a heading one, H1. Press the greater than symbol, and then I'm going to say uh, welcome, and I'm going to put it in caps, 
I'm just going to put welcome. On the next line, I'm going to do a paragraph. So I'm going to do a P tag. There's all the things that begin with P. So it's ready for me to type. You can see the flashing cursor. So I'm going to say, this is my spanking new website. Hope you like it. You won't like it. It's pretty poor. Um, but that'll do. Right, okay. So that's that's the basic uh website that's a simple website we need to make sure we save the document so if we go file save and you'll see that when you've got an edit let me just do another paragraph as soon as you've got an edit you get this little circle appear next to your file name that means there are unsaved changes so if you go file save make sure it'll be working right <clears throat> the next thing we'll need to do is we want to see this in our browser so we can right click over home.html now there should be an option at the bottom saying open in browser if that's not there we just need to include an extension so i'll just show you how to do that so i right clicked on home.html and there isn't anything that says open in browser so let's let's make that happen so if we go to these icons on the left hand side there's the fourth one one two the fifth one down is one that's called extension so if we click on that and then in the little search bar if we say open and you'll see there's one called open in browser if you click on that you'll see that over a million people have installed this so that's the one we want the one that's over a million and we're just going to click on install it takes no time whatsoever now it's in okay right if we go back to our files when we right click over home.html now, you'll see at the bottom we've got open in default browser and open in other browsers. So let's just do open in default browser, which should be Chrome. So I'm just going to do that. And you see, there's my website. There's the title thing. So you can, if I go back to the file, you can see all those elements. So we've got welcome to my website. That's up there in the title. We've got the heading, welcome, which is nice nice and big and bold. And then we've got the little paragraph. This is my spanking new website. When you um, want to add a new document, whether that's a CSS file or another web page, you just click on the new file. All right, and you can just build them all in here. Um, when you've finished, you don't actually have to do anything. Let me show you what happens. Just make sure you've saved everything that you've been working on. Close Visual Studio close my browser if I run Visual Studio Code again so I'm going to just go code it will remember what you were doing last time so it's automatically loaded it up and we're ready to go we can straight into our browser and a ho and that's all you've got to do and then you obviously the, the main thing is building your website um, one thing I will say is if you're going to do some CSS you might you might want to make folders and put things in there and keep images in separate folders um, but that's entirely up to you it depends how complex your website's going to be whether you organize in folders okay i'll stop it there